Hey guys, it's Anita. It's March 13th, 2017, and I'm about to do something that I have always wanted to do. Even though I'm a pretty solid rebel and adventurer and good at going against the grain, I've been doing that thing that a lot of us find ourselves stuck in, doing what other people wanted me to do and told me to do instead of doing what was in my heart. And that is, I have always just wanted to document and to share my journey traveling the world and becoming a full-time online creator because I always knew in my heart that sharing that journey would be 10 times more powerful than if I created, you know, five years down the line when everything's working fine and to create videos then instead of creating them now while I'm going through the process and figuring it out, it's way more powerful. It's not always easy to be an online creator and to create your own path from thin air, from scratch, but it is so worth it. So some of you guys may already know that I got into being an online creator right out of university. I'd always wanted to work in media and online was perfect. So I dove headfirst into this online business world. And for a year and a half in Canada, I spent my time learning everything that I could about it, like everything. I joined all the programs, did all of the things, but rather than having this like crazy success in the online world, you know, where people talk about making six figures and all this and that, I just ended up having panic attacks and anxiety attacks and feeling really bad. And when I finally slowed down enough to check in what was going on, I knew that it was because I wasn't listening to my intuition. All along, I just wanted to share that journey. I wanted to pop onto video like when I have these ahas and these glimmers and these understandings to be able to share them. If you followed me on Periscope for almost two years, that's actually what I've been doing. Every day I came on sometimes three times a day and I just live streamed my journey to being a creator and sharing that with people and it inspired a lot of people. But I never put it onto YouTube because I felt like the quality of Periscoping wasn't good enough to put on YouTube. And there will come a day when the production quality of all of these YouTube videos is, you know, polished and slick. But right now, this is me. This is me with my wall map sitting on my bed. And over the last three years of doing this now, I get it. None of us are supposed to follow someone else's blueprint. Sometimes we like to have a blueprint and we like to know how someone else did it because it gives us, it gives us confidence that there is a way and it can be done. But honestly, you will never do anything the way anyone else does anything. But I know that in sharing the little steps, the micro steps of my journey, and for you to get to follow that, three years from now when my, when my book is out, and three years from now when this YouTube channel is so much bigger, you will get to be one of those people that are so precious to my heart, who followed this journey, who went on this journey with me in the early days, and got to see it all unfold. So that's why from now on, I'm going to create more regular videos like this, where I share bits of my journey, I answer your questions, and then I share my own insights and wisdom from each day that I live of being a creator, a really conscious creator of my life. And as you guys know, travel is a big part of that. In all its rawness and difficulty, in all of its beauty and its triumph, I had to, to get to a place where now I genuinely get to spend my days creating the things I love, making videos like this, that came from like hundreds of times that I said no to what I didn't want. It would have been easy to get a job, it would have been easy to just submit my application, but I was like, no, I gotta do this thing that's in my heart that even though other people might not understand, I can see where it's leading and I have to go that way. So I consider myself a rebel in that sense, but what I didn't realize I was doing is I dove into the online world and learned all of the ropes about how to create a, an online community and an online based business is I let go of the corporate world paradigm, like all of that job, commute, all of that world. And I thought I was paving my own path, but unknowingly I, I just like bought into the paradigm of the online marketing world. And for any of you who are familiar with this, you'll know what I mean about programs and coaching and funnels and launches and email lists. And I learned all about that and I tried a lot of it. And when it didn't work for me, I realized you left, you left one set of rules, but you accidentally bought into another set of rules. I'm so over that. I'm so over that and I'm not into doing it. And 
my motto in life now is I create the things that are in my heart and I just share them with you guys. And if you feel called to join in the journey and to learn more, then you're welcome to. I don't want to do any of those like online marketing, online businessy things. And I hereby declare that I will never consciously do any of that stuff unless it feels right. And if it feels right to just like ditch all of it and do my own thing, then that is what I will do too. Because I know that my intuition and my inspiration are 10 times more powerful than someone else's blueprint. Whether you think that maybe you want to work at a job and maybe that's your path, or maybe you want to create an online business and you want that so-called laptop lifestyle, which I'll do a whole nother video on. You want that freedom, that location freedom and that time freedom to build the things that are meaningful to you. It's important to notice when you've bought into someone else's paradigm and you've bought into someone else's set of rules or brules, bullshit rules. You've bought into some brules that don't actually serve you. I'm done following other people's rules and I'm just gonna do what's in my heart and what lights me up from this point on and let's see where it leads because ultimately I am not here to be an entrepreneur. I'm not just here to be a world traveler. We're not just here to build businesses or anything like that. And we are here, as Oprah says, to live the fullest expression of who we are, to be our true selves. And so I create videos and I travel and I create things online because that is an expression of who I am. And that's way more important than following someone else's blueprint in order to try to create something like a business in the future. That's me, guys. Let's do this. This is officially episode one of me logging my journey on YouTube. For the past year, I've lived in six countries. I've traveled all around the world. I've, all of that happened because I finally let go of trying to figure out my business and make my business work. I literally decided I am not here to be an entrepreneur. But the principles of living a big, extraordinary, meaningful life are the same. And that's what we're after. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. I'm excited to make a ton more videos. If you're a little bit new here and you want to catch up on everything that I've been up to on this journey so far, definitely check out my Instagram. I love you guys so much. Let me know if there's more topics and questions that you've got for me in the comments below that I'd be happy to answer in future videos. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye.